Okay, I'm going to go over how to solve the 2019 AP Environmental Science Free Response Questions. So this is the last year that students were not allowed to use a calculator. So starting in 2020, students will be allowed to use a calculator on the math portion. But the math is not supposed to get harder, just the numbers will not divide or uh, multiply or subtract or anything like that easily like they used to. So they plan on using more real numbers, not more even or whole numbers. But the math is supposed to stay the same in terms of difficulty. All right, so take a minute, pause the video, and read the whole question. Um, when you are reading questions like this, it's recommended that you highlight the givens and or underline or circle and start to really think and process through how to solve these questions. Sometimes it takes about, even, uh, even me who's done this for many, many years, sometimes I have to really think about a question for about five minutes before I figure out how to do the math. It doesn't come right away for most questions. I have to sit and think and process. Sometimes I have to sketch out numbers and bubbles um, and really wrap my head around it before I can solve it. So persevere through that. D, assuming the above extraction rate, calculate how many days will be needed to extract the recoverable volume of bitumen from oil sands. So for this question, a lot of kids sometimes freak out and say, oh, well, I don't know how to do bitumen. I don't even know what bitumen is. You don't even need to know that because they tell you what it is um, up here. And so the, the math part does not require that you know anything about what it is. It's just the math part. Now, there's going to be other parts of this question. So you can see here we have D, E, and F. On the AP test, there will be more questions like A, B, C, which are not math. So a math question will not be entirely math. All right, for D. So we're going to start with D with our number of 73 billion barrels of oil. Now, the best way to do that is to know that 10 to the ninth is billions. And then I'm going to um, multiply that times in one day, it says that we can extract a million barrels per day. So a million is one times 10 to the six barrels. And here we need barrels also. I forgot my units here. Don't forget units. You have to have units in your work and in your answers. So my barrels are gonna cancel. I'm gonna end up with the number of days. So in scientific notation, 73 divided by one is just 73. But when you divide in scientific notation, you can subtract. So nine minus six is three. So again, I have my nine, I have my six, and I'm gonna subtract them. So when you divide in scientific notation, you subtract the exponents. So I'm gonna get 73 times 10 to the third. And this is days. Always have your units. Now, this is a correct answer. If you change it to proper scientific notation, it would be 7.4 times 10 to the fourth days. Or you could even take it all the way out of scientific notation if you want to. And you could do, oops, sorry, I have a mistake here. So it's, it's 7.3 days like that. Okay, or it's 73,000 days. Could you do the whole problem with all the zeros? You can. The problem with all these zeros, so 73 billion, is that students often drop a zero here or there, and, um, 
and it's more difficult to keep track of your zeros and so your problem may come out with one or two less zeros than it should and this is a problem that means the answer is not correct and they, they won't give you credit if you have a zero that's not supposed to be there or a missing zero and so that's the problem with um, putting it, it all in zeros All right, going on to E. Continuing on with letter E. So <clears throat> we need to take our answer from D to plug into E. And but what if you actually get the wrong answer here for D? If you get the wrong answer for D, you will not get credit for D. But if you use that wrong answer correctly in E, then they will give you credit for E because they're really trying to determine, do you know how to do E? So we're supposed to plug in what our results were, 73,000 days. And it's asking you how many years will be needed to fully extract the recoverable volume of bitumen from oil sands. And so one year has 365 days. This is actually a rather easy problem. And don't overthink things. So sometimes the math really is that easy on the AP test. So I'm going to now divide 73,000 by 365 days, and my answer is 200 years. You must have units in your work and units in your answers. It's very important on an FRQ. Without units, you will not get credit. So again, let me just go over this important point. Let's say for D, you got the wrong answer and you ended up with maybe you did your zeros wrong and you ended up with 730,000 days. But if you still set it up correctly and you did the math correctly, and you got 2,000 years, guess what? You would still get E right because you knew how to do the problem. So don't copy this down. This is just an example for you to show you that if you use the wrong number correctly um, in the next problem, you can still get correct credit. So we call this double jeopardy. There's no double jeopardy in AP environmental science. Okay, letter F says monthly production of synthetic crude oil is 30 million barrels. Producing one barrel of synthetic crude oil uses two barrels of heated fresh water. Calculate the number of barrels of fresh water needed each year to supply this demand. So we're going to use that given 30 million barrels. So 30, I'm gonna write it times 10 to the sixth. You could write out the zeros if you wanted to. And this is Again, you got to put your units in. So this is barrels of oil. Don't just put barrels because we have to use barrels of water later. Because here we have two barrels, I'm just going to abbreviate it, of water per one barrel of oil. All right, so now my barrels of oil cancel, and I'm gonna get barrels of water per month. So I'm gonna get two times 30 is going to be 60 times six barrels of water. But we wanna know per year, so don't forget that part. A lot of students forget the last part, which is to convert it to years. So there's 12 months in a year. So now our months cancel 
and we're going to end up with barrels of water per year. So 60 times 12 is 720. Do not forget this. So many students forget that part right there. So they just write 720 barrels of water per year, but it's 720 million barrels of water, which is H2O per year. Do not, do not, do not forget that 10 to the 6 or even the word million. If you forget that, you, it is not correct. So they will not give you credit if you forget this number. So you could circle it and be done. You could change it to correct scientific notation, which is um, 7.2 times 10 to the 8th barrels of water per year, um, or you could even write it all out, 720. So again, put the units in. I didn't write the units here, but you need to have the units in. So any of these forms are actually accepted as answers. Now on the AP test, starting in 2020, because you're allowed to use calculators, these numbers will get harder numbers, but the math itself won't be harder, but the numbers will not divide or multiply evenly like um, they do on these problems up through 2019. And that's it.